want to say thank you, a uh, huge thank you uh, to uh, Professor Gettler, President, Chancellor Rose, um, Professor Wong. I truly, truly appreciate everything you guys um, have done in choosing me um, to the governing council. In Africa, we say all protocols observed. Uh, I follow incredible, incredible people uh, in receiving an honor uh, like this. And I'm so proud that I can follow a friend, a father, a mentor, like Mr. Larry Tannenbaum. So thank you, Larry, for being here. And I honor you. To all graduates, I say congratulations. This is incredible. <laughs> This is such a cool space. I wish we could play a basketball game in here. Uh, yeah, we the North, I love it. I love it. This is incredible. You guys are going into the world now. So you're losing a home, but it's still your home. Right? And yeah, now you have to stand up and be men and be women in the world, you go out and be proud of who you are, okay? I'm going to tell you guys three things, three things. Education, the education you got here opens every door, every door that you can possibly think of. And it's the one thing that will never ever be taken away from you. So follow that passion. Follow your passion. I know I followed my passion in basketball. Yeah, be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. Have more passion than ambition as you go out there. Sometimes we really, really, really want to have ambitions. I want to be this, I want to be that. And your mind gets set that you have to come down to passion. What's in here, what you love, and you go get it. You go get it. We all come from something. And we all come from something incredibly, incredibly special. Uh, I'm a Canadian, I'm an African, I'm proud, and I want you to be proud of that. That's what I learned growing up, and my education was traveling around the world and meeting you incredible people. My wife, my beautiful wife is here. She's from Guinea and Sierra Leone. I'm from Nigeria and Kenya, and Canada. I was born in England with a British passport. The kids, born in Canada. You know what we are? We're people of the world. Yeah, we're people of the world. My beautiful daughter is a person of the world. And I challenge you I challenge you to make the world a better place for her, for all the young blue ones I see in here. Make it better, okay? Because you are the ones that can do it, okay? Be humble, be humble. Work hard, it's important. It's important that you do, that you look in your, yourselves in the mirror and sometimes see what you don't do so well. Listen, listen, always listen. We always want to talk, right? We can't wait to speak. Sometimes it's just listening. 
Okay? You can do that easily. Very easily. The next thing I'll say is adversity. Look at the last two years. Even for you, I thought about this last night or this morning. We had the draft last night, so this morning at 3 o'clock I got home. <laughs> Hopefully some of you like watched the draft too and slept late. <laughs> uh, basketball fans in here. There's going to be adversity. Yeah, there's those hurdles that are going to come. And sometimes you have no idea. There's not one person here that saw the pandemic coming. And look what it did to us for two good years. Even what it did to you. There's so many things that are going to come. We have to be ready. Okay? And if you prepare yourself well, if you have a great base, you are going to be ready. You're always going to be ready. Okay? So, the last one I'll tell you is humanity. Who are we? Who are you as a person? As a person. And I looked at George Floyd and I saw him being knelt down on. Okay? Knelt down on. He was peeing on himself, he was crying, he was calling for his mom. Okay? And dying. And somebody is kneeling on his neck. I don't care what law or what police or whatever you do or what color you are, okay? That's humanity right there. His hands were cuffed, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're white, black, Asian, African, wherever you come from, okay? Wherever you go, you bring people along. Okay? You hold somebody's hands, and you bring them along. It's important. It's important that you, as youth, take it very serious because you change the world. Okay? When I'm put in this position, when I'm put in this position, I see no color, nothing. I see human beings. That's what we are. And we're proud to be human beings, and we should be proud to help each other. Okay? So, when I represent, whether it's Toronto, or Canada, or Africa, or the world, you have to think win. In my game, I play and compete in sports to win. You have to win in life. In whatever you do, you win in life. And then on the side, I go off the court. With everything we try to do, I win off the court. And you know what that is? It's helping. It's helping people. And you, as you do all of this, you bring people along, right? You bring people along. Every day, I go home. On my way home, I pinch myself. And I thank everybody along the way that has helped me. That has helped me incredibly well. You guys are going to win. You guys are going to win in life. I am telling you, you will. Put your mind to it and be happy doing it. Because when I pinch myself, I ask myself, why did God choose me? You know the answer? I know the answer. I figured out the answer why he chose me. Because he chose all of us. And he chose you. 
have incredible, incredible fun today and go out and have incredible, incredible fun in the world, okay? And be somebody. God bless you.